Most coaching programs that are worth a crap are super expensive. We don't want to claim we love helping people. We love serving people. We're in this for people. Oh, but by the way, if you want to be those people, you got to pay us a thousand bucks. At 98 bucks a month, you will have the ability for Landon to walk you through how to become an incredible realtor. Right? It's unbelievable. For those of you listening that have not done coaching before or had bad experiences with coaching, Academy 18 is for you. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Social Media Mindset Podcast. And this episode is brought to you by Content Compounding. If you are already doing video, if you're not doing video and you want more from those videos, you want to be able to put them in more places, you want to maximize the time you're spending creating those videos, go check out contentcompounding.io. It is incredible. It will change your life. And now back to episode 121 with my bro, my home dog, my business partner, Landon Hale. Bro, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. What an introduction. And episode 121. That's Woo! Playing around with sound effects live on the podcast. Yeah, bro, 121 episodes. How crazy is that? That is crazy. So you kick out, what, one a week? Yep, one a week. So more than two years now. No. So it would seem that way if you did the math directly the way you should. Um, <laughs> when I started, I pushed out, I think I pushed out like 20 episodes in the first few weeks. Oh, okay. Just to give myself a runway. So I actually started this in maybe June of 20. No, June of 21. That's when I started it. For real? Yeah. So it's only, wow. it's only been like a year and a half. Oh, it's pretty wild. Oh, it's 2023. Hello. It is 2023. What? What? <laughs> I was, Hello. I was thinking like, man, seven months ago. That's a lot. But no, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, man. So today's episode is is all about coaching. And I know there's a lot of opinions about it. In a minute, we're going to tell your story and, and let people get to know you better. But I, w I wanted to just kind of kick off the episode with the question of like, why coaching matters? Why does it? Why does it matter to you? Man, for me, it's it's aligning myself with someone or finding someone that is ahead of where I am that can pull me, coach me, teach me, kick me to where I want to go. Um, really, really just plain and simple, like period, the end. It, yeah. it, that is why it's important to me. Yeah, and so we can do that in books, right? Sure. We can read books and receive coaching in, in, in that way. We can receive coaching through a podcast. We we can receive coaching through just a conversation at lunch with a friend. And and so that to me, I I one hundred percent agree with you. It coaching when done correctly should compound time. Yes. Right. The That's the beauty why I hired my coach. I'm sorry to right. And and you so let's let like right out of the gate. So you you spend about how much money on coaching a year? 30k so uh it makes what i spend feel very dismal all right i spend about 10 grand a year mm -hmm. which is probably a lot compared to the average person so collectively you and i are spending forty thousand dollars that sounds cooler for me when i just get to lump yours in with mine <laughs> you know so collectively we're spending 40 grand a year that's some people's salary sure. on coaching why because we want to execute in six months what took our coach 10 years. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. That's the power of coaching. Yeah. And that, that's why I hired my coach. I told myself if he can get me even halfway to where, where I want to go by the time I'm 35, as opposed to 40 or even 50, I will take that chance on myself because I know no one's going to outwork me. I've got yeah. that in the bag. That one's taken care of. No one's going to work harder than I am yep. to either achieve what I want to do, serve who I want to serve, build what I want to build. And so I thought, okay, if I can get insight from someone who's done what I'm looking to do, 
I will pay for that, and I'll just simply gamble on myself that I'll do the work, and here we are. I, I, and I think what what I love about you and I, you know, being in business together through our coaching company is I'm the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. Like I can tend to be lazy by nature, mm -hmm. and so coaching also like helps kick my butt. Where I know you say, you know, you you say like no one will outwork me. No one will. I in my mind, I know I will get outworked mm -hmm. if I don't have someone kicking my butt. Sure. Because I know that about myself, and and so that's the the beauty of coaching is that people choose to coach with other, with people for all different reasons, right? Mm -hmm. There's not a, a one size fits all coaching. There's value in, in multiple ways, which we're going to break down in this episode. And, and that's what has you and I both so excited about Academy 18, which we're going to unpack. But, but let's, go, let's go back before we, we keep going forward. Sure. Like, who is Landon? Let, let's give my audience, because my audience may not really know who you are, mm -hmm. which is crazy because you're a big deal. And so talk to talk to the people, man. Tell them who you yeah, are. Um, so I grew up in a really small town in North Texas. Um, I usually just tell people, uh, you know, the town doesn't have any stoplights, which is still true to this day. Wow. I uh, graduated with 39 people. Uh, baseball was kind of my jam. I wasn't fast enough. I'm using air quotes. I wasn't fast enough to play football very well. Um, and so from there I went to college, I went to Tarleton state in Stephenville, uh, graduated there in 2012, 2013. Um, honestly, I was just really bored at my job and yeah. I was praying like, you know, Lord, do I go back to school? Do I move towns? Do I hop out of the industry that I'm in and, and, and try to find something else to do? Like, what am I missing? And through that, real estate was pointed out. And I remember, and I'll try to be brief here, but I remember in that moment when real estate was pointed out to me, I was like, but God, like, remember when I took that elective in college to round out my hours and I hated real estate law? Yeah. And didn't just use that course actually to justify I can't do commission, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And at the time, I ordered my courses, got started. And even whenever I got started at the brokerage I started at, Keller Williams, it was like my only knowledge of real estate is that dad owns rental properties mm -hmm. and I mow them in the summer. Like that is it, the start, wow. the, the end. And my parents to this day still live in the same house out in the country on six acres. So therefore, the reason I say that, I've never had reason to move. We've never packed boxes. We had never met with a realtor. Dad bought all of his stuff off market for the most part or from, from friends that were looking to get rid of their properties. So there was just this long strand or long string of time that I never needed to be introduced to anything real estate other than ownership of, or in my case, mowing them in the summer. And so I took off. Um, and I remember we, I was probably only two weeks in, uh, late 2013, October of 2013. And they said, you can outwork 80% of your competition and mm. going into real estate was just a, a huge amount of unknown. Like, I don't know which end is up. I don't know how to calculate a paycheck. I don't know how to write a contract. Like, yeah, I'm just here. And, um, I remember whenever they said that I was like, ah, I'll be okay. I may stumble. It may be painful, but I'll be okay if I cannot work 80% yeah. of my competition. So fast forward, that was 13. Um, 2015 I had left. I, I very shortly after, after joined a team at the company, um, was with them for a year. I was their number one buyer's agent for that year. I went out what they say on your own again, air quotes. I went out on my yep. own individual agent, no team. I didn't have one. I wasn't on one. Um, and I sold 12 houses that year and that was 2015. And then 2016 and onward, I never went below 36 units for any year. 36 transactions was the number one agent at the company in 2016, number two in 17, started a team in 18, opened a brokerage in 19, 2019. 
Um, so we're three years in at the brokerage now. Uh, we have a touch over 70 agents. And I mean, that aside from like me outside of work between bow hunting and all things archery, golf, mountain biking, and I'm, I'm not mentioning it last on purpose, but like my kids and my wife, like those are the things that I enjoy. I, yeah. my kids actually just left, but they are everything to me. Love my kids to death. Um, we, we live out here. Uh, we actually live in North Texas still and live in Collinsville. We live on 10 acres. Um, I'm looking out my back porch right now and see the trees and the country and, We'll have chicken soon. Um, I'm going to go shoot my bow later, set up my home gym. I actually went and picked that up this morning. So between working out, I'm staring at my cold plunge. I'm kind of all over the place right now, but Dude. I'm staring at my cold plunge, and uh, that's uncomfortable. And, man, that's me in a nutshell. I'm done. I'll quit, but that's me. Well, but this that th that's a great nutshell because everything you just said is why we're doing this together. Mm -hmm. because I'm not most of those things. Like most of your interests are not my interests. Mm -hmm. You're, you live in the country. I live in the city. You like to be outside. I prefer to be inside. You kill yeah. animals a lot. I've never killed an animal in my life. Yeah. Right? Like we, we're very different on the surface, sure. but when it comes to our desire to serve people our our desire to be successful and provide for our families and, and the way we go about doing those things, we are very much aligned. And, you know, I remember when you and I, we were having, I think, I think George was with us and we were having lunch at Pizza Snob, which is where we typically hang out when we're together. You know it. And uh, it's so good. If you, if you guys haven't been to Pizza Snob in Denton, I'm, I don't know if there's other locations, but if, if you're in there Denton, one in Dallas. go to Pizza Snob. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And get your pizza without sauce. It, it'll change your life and increase your blood sugar and blood pressure and, you know, all the things that are supposed to be good for you. Um, <laughs> but we we had this conversation about, like, you you mentioned you wanted to start a coaching company, coaching realtors, because you've been wildly successful. You know, your, your, your brokerage is doing incredible. And, and then I was like, bro, what? No way. I, I've been wanting to start a coaching company. Because I used to coach and I was doing it all one to one on one and it was wearing me out. And so for two years up to that point, I'd been wanting to kind of reinvent myself in a different environment to not be so bogged down by, by one on one clients. And it, it was like the light bulb went off in both of our heads at the same time mm -hmm. of like, what would it look like to do this together? Right. Because you can't be great at real estate without also being good at social media sure. at this point in 2023. But then also, I can only teach to such a small piece to the puzzle, right? Being the social media piece, I can't actually coach realtors beyond that. Mm -hmm. And so it just made sense for us to, to, to do this together. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the collaboration, the collaborative effort between us has been – for me, quite frankly, the most enjoyable part, and I can say that with confidence, one, because I'm living it out, but two, even some of the, um, man, I, I don't even know the name of the test you take. It's not personality. It's not disc. It's not anything that I've even heard of before, but man, I took one, um, I guess you call it a personality test, but anyway, I, I took this and the word that it describes you as after a, a multi-paragraph write-up is collaborative. And that is me to my core. You know, yeah. I'm really, 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 really good from zero to one, from no money to earning money, from startup to in motion to having clients. I'm good there. And it, it's not so much losing motivation. It's not so much being burnt out. And I know what to do beyond that, but having that other person there, even yeah. if it's just to bounce ideas off of. Hey man, I'm low on it on energy today, man. Like, you, you know, whatever that may be, just to kind of keep that fire going. It's it's been super super life giving, honestly. Yeah, and and I and I would say the same thing about you, and and I think that's again that's why coaching is so powerful, 
Sure. Right? Because in a way, you and I doing life together coach one another, right? Like right. that's part of life. Our spouses coach us. I don't know that we coach them, but they're for sure, <laughs> you know, coaching us and helping us be better. And that is the the power of of coaching, of doing things not on an island, sure. which is very quickly how real estate can feel when you jump into this thing called entrepreneurship and you're not a W-2 employee anymore and you eat what you kill. And now all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, all my friends have regular jobs. All my friends are, are getting insurance. You know, like they're a part of this big cog. And then here I am by myself on an island trying to sell houses. Nobody's taking me serious anymore because who actually like chooses to be in real estate. And here we are launching Academy 18. And, and so it's only fair to, to talk the listeners through like what this is. Yeah. And, and so I'll, I'll let you go first. Like how, well, how would you explain Academy 18? Well, and I will, I will explain to me what that is, but one thing I wanted to, to hit on real quick, and it's honestly part of the description of Academy 18. But one thing you'd mentioned earlier that I just thought of as you were speaking is and the and the way you were speaking the things you were speaking about is you let off with with training with coaching you can read it you can listen to it you can watch it you can fill in the blank fill in the blank but there's something about the human aspect um that I think is really important and so one thing just right right out of the gate that I would hit on with Academy 18 is our live training sessions um yeah if if other training companies have live training sessions for everyone that is involved. I don't know about it. They have to exist. They have to. So I'm, I'm not being like naive on purpose, but they yeah. surely have to exist. But I know one thing that sets ours apart is the live training component because, uh, what you, what you can't do, uh, well, I guess maybe what you can do is choose not to do something. You you can always choose not to do something, but it's even easier when you've only watched a video, only yeah. listened to X, Y, and Z, or only read, because then you have to really lean into your self-starter, self-motivated, I'm going to do this on my own. I can't tell you, again, I'm looking at it right now, I can't tell you how long I will stand outside breathing smoke out of my mouth with my hood on and my hoodie on and my sweatpants. And I've taken the top off that cold plunge and I'm sitting there literally just staring at it, just staring at the water. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. And I, I, I come back in and I'm like, Ooh, I really know. I, I know I need to go do that. Like for me, I'm self-starter, self-motivated. So then I get mad at myself and I march outside and I rip off my clothes and I jump into Whoa. the cold plunge and, and I hate it. Right. Yeah. And all of that to say, though, if we if we jump back into Academy 18, what it is, how I would explain it, I think that in person accountability, the ability to learn from others all wrapped into one word, the collaborative yeah. effort that that is, is huge because it's not the Kyle and Landon show. Um, we're going to bring in other speakers. It's it, it's for everyone to learn from everyone. Just one yeah. huge community doesn't matter what company you're at. I don't care if you're a realtor, if you're a lender, if you're an insurance, like who cares? This is an opportunity for everyone to learn and grow together and do what we set out to do because I don't know about you. I mean, I know Kyle, you're not a realtor, but I run a for-profit business. Right. I'm here to make people happy. I'm here to love on people, but this is not just for fun. This is to feed right. my family and you know, the list goes on. How would you explain Academy 18? Yeah, I, I think the the live training is huge you know what what i would what i would say is to me you know anybody can teach you how to do social media it's not hard right it's not sure. rocket science anybody i believe can teach someone how to do real estate You're exactly the, right. the the route to doing real estate well is not rocket science either but what i believe separates us from a lot of other programs out there is what the 18 represents in academy 18 mm -hmm. Right, it is the distance traveled from your head to your heart, and so what? What I am excited about for Academy 18, and the way I would describe Academy 18 is: Will your business grow by being a part of this? 100% it will. Are you and I good at the necessary things for them to grow their business? 100%. But what I'm also excited about is hearing the stories of people 
that go, man, I am a better husband this year than I've ever been before. I have deeper relationships with my kids than, than I ever have before. I am more positive than I've ever been before. Like my life as a whole, not just my business, but my life is better mm-hmm. because of the echelon of people that I'm doing it with through Academy 18. And and so, you know, we we do not keep this a secret. Like you and I both love Jesus a lot. Mm-hmm. Right, we we are very spiritual in that way. Um, not that we're going to try to push our beliefs onto other people, no. but but there will be a very large spiritual aspect to what we do because you can't love someone and not talk about them, and and so that's going to be, I think, a unique piece to the way Academy Eighteen plays out than just other traditional coaching models that are that are truly just focused on. Did you hit your numbers this week? Oh, you didn't? Then why are we even on this call? Right. Yeah. Like, if you're not going to go hit your numbers, you know, then we don't even need to be on this call. We want to coach to the whole person. And 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 that's a big, big piece of of Academy 18 to me. Absolutely. No, it's it's huge. And, and like you said, te- teaching, coaching to the whole person. That that's it. That's the nail on the head is yeah, we want you to we want you to hit your goals. We want you to hit your numbers, but just like you said, like we want you to be better because you want to. Not because right. we're certified and a doctor and in, in helping people be the best version of themselves and psychiatry like no, like we're just two human beings doing the very yeah. best we can and if we help people along the way, then great. That's that's what we set out to do. So as as we Begin to wrap this up with a with a few more questions. I want to just stop briefly. Guys, if you're listening, if you want to be a part of Academy 18, you can go to academy18.co, academy18.co. You can sign up right there on the website. You, you can also reach out to Landon or I if you've got a personal relationship with us. We're happy to get you the info because we, I, I want to talk about Landon, like who should join? And, and I'm going to start this one because yeah. you started the last one, and, and I want to be specific with this. Who should join? Guys, most coaching programs that are worth a crap are super expensive. 500 a month, a fi- you know, 1000 a month, 1500 a month. You've already heard Landon and I talk about earlier how much money we spend on coaching. And so one of our big things was we don't want to claim we love helping people, we love serving people, we're in this for people. Oh, but by the way, if you want to be those people, you got to pay us a thousand bucks. We wanted to be a coaching program that was available to brand new realtors, brand new lenders, brand new title reps, right? Whatever part of the industry you represent, 98 bucks a month. So who should join? I want people to join this that you've never done coaching before because you couldn't afford it or you weren't sure if you were even ready for it. And so at 98 bucks a month, you will have the ability for Landon to walk you through how to become an incredible realtor, right? It's unbelievable. And, and so we could, we could sit here and talk about that. It's for everybody, but, but I really want to stress that for those of you listening that have not done coaching before or have bad had bad experiences with coaching, Academy 18 is for you. You, you want to add anything to that? Well, I, I was going to say specifically that it's not for everyone. You know? Yeah, great. Uh, it is for those that are looking to grow. Like growth is painful. Growth yeah. at times is all actually almost all the time is only enjoyable on the back end. Right. There's almost yep. nothing fun about being sore from the gym. E- even children. I, I say this cause I have a friend that his, his child was literally crying because of his knees were hurting because he was growing as a growing pain, literally right. by definition. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, now that, you know, the child doesn't hurt any longer and he's now five foot and he's, you know, what, 12, 13 years old. Like, but my point is, is nothing about growth is sexy. Yeah. Only the back end, only the back end, because yeah. everything that we have to go through to do that. So this is for people that are willing to be vulnerable, 
We don't yeah. need your bank info. We don't need your height and weight. Like, but vulnerable in a sense of like, hey, I'm raising my hand that I'm not as good as I could be, should be, yeah. or want to be. Um, and that is who we're looking for. Now, industry specific, I think this pairs, it's built specifically for realtors and lenders in terms of the audiences you and I interact with the most. Yeah. Yep. Comma, I think it's also really good for insurance. Um, I think that there is, and that might be quite frankly, if it's insurance, if it's an HVAC sales side of the company, yeah, that is probably 90, 10 going to be your information that they're after. Sure. As opposed to if you're an in insurance, you don't need to know how to do a real estate deal. You don't need to, an HVAC to know how to do a real estate deal, but the other 10% of course is going to be the approach, the mental aspect. That's what I, I lean in heavy with in my side of the coaching, because like you said, it's not super duper hard to be an agent. It is simple. Right. It is not easy. But with that being said there, now that that is in the platform and available and ready, now I get to dive into alongside you, the approach, the mental aspect your, your, um, mental toughness, if you yeah. will, we get to walk through all of that. So it's, it's simply put for people that are, are looking to grow their business and grow themselves professionally. Yeah. And to just tie a bow on it, I, I think there will also be a unique opportunity for the lender, the insurance agent, the title rep, they all want more real estate clients. Mm -hmm. And so if they're willing, I think going through your real estate training mm -hmm. is going to unlock things in them where they go, oh, that's an additional way that I could add value to my realtor partners to grow those relationships, right? So sure. I, I think there there is a lot of opportunity there for them to grow through being a part of that training. Uh, and I, I just, I can't wait to see it play out. And so I want to... I want to ask you, you know, you, you and I, we spent a lot of time thinking through like what are our core values going to be mm -hmm. that we live by, that, that we go back and look at when we make decisions moving forward in the years to come. And so without going through all of them, what is, what is your favorite core value and why? Mine is pursue discomfort. Yeah, absolutely. Hands down. Um, it's one of those things for me, it, I don't know if it's from the side of like grit and tenacity yeah. and I'm, I'm internally like myself, I'm known for putting a chip on my shoulder when it might not actually be there because it helps me perform or, sure. or, or act. Um, and so for me, it's, it's, I mean, again, I'm looking at it, that cold plunge. That is uncomfortable, but yeah. I know as, as a result from that, now I get to sit cross-legged Indian style on the floor and bend over with my kids and play yeah. with them and lean down and pick them up. I have a bad back. And so that reduces inflammation enough for me to be able to enjoy, thoroughly enjoy time with friends and family, which is personal, but it helps me on the professional, because I believe yeah. when those two are aligned, that amazing things can happen. I mean, you could go yeah. super layer that really deep, but mine is pursue discomfort. And I love that one. My favorite one, I'm glad you didn't take it. Cause then I would have had to have come up with a new favorite in, in the moment. <laughs> My favorite one is, is our, our one that we simply say own everything. Yes. You know, you know, this, you know, we both have young kids Kids love to blame everything on everything else, mm -hmm. right? And and w I remember years ago when Lana and I were going through premarital counseling, right? One of his, one of our counselors' big things for us was quit giving that power away. Like quit saying, you made me mad. You made me upset. You made me say that. And, and instead, turn it around and own everything. And and so now, you know, 13 years later into our marriage, like Lana and I will still find ourselves going, 
don't say don't say I made you do that. I didn't make you do that. And and she gets really mad at me when I when I remind her of that. So I, I usually don't say anything <laughs> to her. But as I've gotten older, like this year, I'm finally owning my health. Right? Instead of just going, man, like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna be better. No, I'm owning it. Right? And I'm making it my priority that it is about me. And, and I'm not going to let, you know, because used to, Landon be like, do you work out today? I'm like, well, no, I was going to, but then Landon called, right? So now it's your fault. It's your right. fault that I didn't right. work out today, right? Well, I was, but then, you know, so-and-so invited. And, and so it's just so easy in life to just play off everything onto other people. Mm-hmm. And so I, I love own everything because you... You say the quote better than me. What what's the quote? Like it may not be your fault, right? Yeah, what's that quote? All, yeah, it may not be your fault. It may not be your problem, but it is your responsibility. One hundred percent. And I I I love that. And and so that is why uh, it's my favorite core value because I think people's lives truly change when they accept ownership back for their actions. Absolutely. And, and that's going to be a huge piece of Academy 18, right, is, is a high level of accountability where, where, where our people are able to say, these are my goals. And so when we see them doing things that contradict their goal, mm-hmm. we're going to call them on their crap. Yeah. Right? Not because we're the boss or because it's a power play, but because of the people that are behind that poor decision. Correct. My kids are affected when I don't pay attention to my health. My marriage is affected when I don't pay attention to my, right? So I have to take a hard look in the mirror. And and so that I just, I, I'm so pumped for what this is. I, I cannot wait to see where it takes us and the life change that comes from it. Um, it's going to be unbelievable. Is is there anything is there anything else you would add before we tie a bow on this episode? Man, I don't think so. I really don't. I mean, we've we've covered it all. Um what it is, who it's for, what it costs. I mean, that's a a crucial component too. Um I don't think there's anything that that I would say other than it's been an honor being on your podcast. Heck yeah, bro. So guys, go sign up for Academy 18. Go to academy18.co, not .com. Don't put that M on there. You're going to want to. .co. Come be a part of this. We do live trainings every Wednesday from 12 to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We put the recordings in our learning platform so that you won't miss anything. We've also already, we, we didn't say this earlier, Landon, we have over 130 videos already inside the platform for you to start using to learn and go at your own speed. Mm -hmm. Many courses coming from industry experts across the country. Just, I mean, unbelievable amounts of value. And so, bro, I love you. I appreciate you. Love you, buddy. Thanks for being on. Absolutely. Guys, go get in the program. And if you don't, just keep listening to the podcast, I guess. We'll see you next week with... Definitely not as cool of an opportunity as this one, but we're going to do our best. See ya.